Welcome to another Cream Wises Up Bite Size episode. The world we live in today is littered with innovations centered around silicon chips. The software or the instruction set architecture which is the soul of these processing cores is as important as the hardware itself. ARM and Intel's x86 dominated this sector for so long that the industry is synonymous with these two. However, there is a new kit on the block which is already showing a promising result and could potentially shake the power structure. Enter RISC-V, an open-source instruction set for processors which many in the industry believe will serve as a launching pad for a much broader open-source hardware movement. Concocted in Berkeley University, California, in the middle of the famous Silicon Valley, RISC-V has initiated a tidal wave of innovation in the hardware development community. RISC-V-based designs are already being implemented in different industries, serving different purposes. Currently, RISC-V International, a non-profit organization, is looking after the RISC-V ISA. Before delving further into things pertaining to RISC-V, it is essential to briefly explain what an instruction set architecture is all about. It is the abstract model of a computer that defines how the CPU is controlled by the software. It basically serves as a middleware or an interface between the hardware and the software. The ISA provides the only way through which a user is able to interact with the hardware. It defines how the hardware manages main memory, virtual memory, the input-output model of multiple ISA implementations and which instructions a microprocessor can execute. Moreover, the ISA also defines the supported data types and the registers. We can also extend the functionality of an instruction set architecture by adding specialized instructions and capabilities. So, it's no stretch to say an ISA is the master blueprint of a processor core. It seems that the slowing down of Moore's law and a huge demand for processing power sparked an interest for open standards such as RISC-V. Supporting this argument, Roddy Urquhart, senior marketing director at Codasip, said, quote, with semiconductor scaling failing, the only way to provide increase in computational performance is specialization, unquote. RISC-V allows companies to design custom instruction set implementations which serve different use cases and can be tuned as needed. This kind of capability cannot be achieved with the off-the-shelf products such as ARM and X86 architectures. This is hardly the first time that an instruction set architecture has been put in the public domain. We have already witnessed processor designs including OpenPower, OpenSpark, OpenRISC, and many more. Even though all these open implementations gain a certain level of traction, none of them came close to what RISC-V has achieved in a very short period of time. The modular nature of RISC-V allows designers to create implementations for wide range of specialized processors and accelerators. All of this needs to be viewed in the context of a new generation of systems companies entering the market, each with unique economic justifications. The common trait among these system companies is that they don't want to sell custom chips. Rather, they're selling services that relied upon the chips they develop. Since there is no suitable ready-made chips that fulfills their demand, these companies choose to design it for themselves and RISC-V is like a godsend because it can be used as a blueprint for in-house chip design. As you might guess, the two main benefits of using RISC-V are cost and freedom. This is hugely significant because companies don't have to incur expensive royalties and it also allows developers to design and experiment implementations tailored to specific tasks. Despite the lack of any new innovative features compared to other ISAs out there, RISC-V follows established risk principles and uses a lodestore architecture. This makes it advantageous because it doesn't violate any known patents. One aspect that strengthens the appeal of RISC-V is that it has already garnered a considerable amount of support from different companies and government organizations. Many universities created open cores like the Rocket Cores from Berkeley, ETH Zurich with their Pulp platform, and many others. Currently, there are a number of collaborative groups within the industry and academia producing RISC-V-based open-source cores, making them available to the community at large. OpenHW Group and the Chips Alliance are amongst the institutions who are contributing a lot for the RISC-V development and propagation. Many countries have created initiatives that are satisfying local needs. For instance, the GenPro Consortium in Israel is bringing industry and academia together by developing an innovative computing platform that is based on RISC-V. India also has its shuck program driven out of IIT Madras. Besides these two nations, other similar programs exist in Japan and China where they are building RISC-V cores as open source in order to make them available to their communities and for their specific interests.